Cooking a Wild Hog Ham. William Hovey Smith, 2012. Not only do I do deer hunting, I also hunt wild hogs and other game as well. I'm Hovey Smith, the backyard sportsman. And today, I'd like to tell you about how to cook a wild hog ham. Now, here is the object in question. Now, this hog was shot in 2009, and it is now 2012. Now, this ham has been wrapped in plastic and paper and frozen, and it's perfectly fine. No problems with it whatsoever. And uh, we're going to take it outside and braise it first, and then finish it off in the oven. Now the ham has been thawing overnight and now, as you can see, is quite thawed. You don't want to take a chance on trying to cook a half thawed out ham. That seldom works well. So basically, wipe it off. Any little hairs or small dirt particles or anything like that, of course, you would want to remove. And as you see, they wipe right off without any problem. Okay. And there's a couple of there. Something is a little desperate, you can scrape it. Since these weren't honestly come by and actually field dressed in the woods, uh, yeah, you pick up a little stuff on them from time to time. No big deal. All right. Now, this is a little garlic salt. You could use any number of other things. There'll be more going, more things going on it when I actually cook it. Okay. We've got some coals outside, so we're going to go and put this on the grill right now. Well, now that the coals are getting in better shape, we're going to go ahead and put the ham on. And as you see, it fits this little grill very, very nicely. Now, I'm not going to cover it, but just leave it out. And it will flare from time to time, which is just fine. That's exactly what's wanted, it to get a little braised on the outside. Now, this hog, incidentally, was kilt. Well, probably something like about a mile and a half from where we're standing. By the light of the full moon in June with a crossbow. Let's turn it over and do the other side. There. Exactly what I want it to look like. If you have a very small hog, you can actually cook it completely on the grill. But better to take it and wrap it in tin foil, as you will see me do here and then put it in the oven or lay it on the coals and let it finish off cooking that way. Oh, that's about a foot from joint to joint. have an audience, don't we? Well, we do. She thought that was a little personal, I think. Alright. Fire at work here. Safe, I hope. We now have the hog ready to put on aluminum foil 
I'm going to sprinkle a little crushed red pepper on it. Just a little bit. Spread that around good. The hog is starting to ooze a little blood right now, and so that's why I'm wearing the rubber gloves. goes on the aluminum foil like yay and you carefully tin it up like this. You want to make sure that you don't puncture the foil. You don't add any extra water to this. There will be enough juices in the meat to cook it. Alright. And we'll rinse this off a little bit. And you take it and you put it back on the pan Now I've cut some onions here, so we'll put some onions on the top. Always onions. <laughs> I have to. I'm hard put to cook anything without onions. Uh, so those go on there, and that's how it looks. We're going to take another piece of aluminum foil and crimp over the top of this and cover it, and then put it in a 350 degree oven. The more reflective side of the foil goes to the inside, by the way, in case nobody ever told you. side dish and I'm going to put this in a little bit later just to warm it because the dish has already been cooked. Well now we're going to take a look and see what we've got here. Still running a little red in the center, so it's not done yet. Okay, so it goes back in the oven. So that was not quite ready. So we are going to transfer it into this pan and put it back in the oven and cook it some more. Turn 
Ja nie, no. So now we're going to put this back in the oven. So there you have it, a nice flame kissed holiday ham. So we will see what it looks like. Okay. Oh, yes. That is now thoroughly done. is a fresh ham, not a cured ham. So that's why it's not red or pink. Fresh ham is not that color. It tells you about what they do with a cured ham, by the way. Now that's good meat. In case you have never seen it, this is what a real fresh ham looks like. Not the semi-synthetic cured things that you buy at the store. Okay. Make off a nice fresh slice here. Yes, sir. Good pork meat. But now, this is Hovey Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. Now this is a hog on the sled and my old dog Demeter that helped me get it. Now we also made other dishes like this whole roasted hog's head. Now I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting and also have crossbow hunting, practical bow fishing, and my newest book, Extreme Muzzleloading. All of these are also available as e-books. Now, cooking time on this ham was about three hours. For more information on my books, blogs, videos, and radio show, Hovey's Outdoor Adventures, go to my website, www.hoveysmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.